Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hi everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto. And today on our 06 Honda Element, I'm gonna show you how to replace front sway bar links. If you need those parts or any other parts for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. To remove the tire, you need a 19 millimeter socket. I have the vehicle has weight on it so that I can loosen up each lug nut as I go around. I'm using a two post lift at home. You can use jack and jack stands. Now I have it up in the air, I'm just going to remove all the lug nuts. Beautiful. And we can discard the hubcap. 14 millimeter wrench and a number five Allen socket. And I'm going to put the 14 millimeter wrench on the sway bar link nut. And then I'm going to install the Allen head in the stud with the cutout. And I'm going to loosen up. You get your self at a good spot and you feel like a ratchet wrench is going to work. And you can move on to that. Take the Allen head socket off and you should be able to get this right off. I'm going to take a pry bar and see if I can pull that right out of that the cutout. Here we go. Nice. I'm going to break the inner nut free on that sway bar link. It's a 14 millimeter, like the lower. There we go. Now we can put the Allen head, which is a five, number five Allen head socket. Put it right in the center. Because there's not much room for the ratchet, I mean for the wrench. I'll use the ratchet to back that off. And there you have it. <laughs> Here we go. So there is the sway bar link. Here we have our new sway bar link for the front of our 06 Honda Element from 1A Auto. And here we have the factory sway bar link that I just took out. And they're both a sealed unit. They both have no grease fittings. Um, they're both offset, so there is a left and a right for the front. The new ones from 1A Auto come with lock nuts. You can see how they're oval shaped to make sure they go on one time and that's it. And the difference is the factory has an Allen hole so you put the nut on and this, obviously the spindle will start to spin. And then you've got to put an Allen head in there and mess with that. The new upgrade from 1A is a wrench. So you put a 14 millimeter wrench on the inside, a 14 millimeter there, and you can hold that stiff, tighten that down the way you want to, and not have to worry about a stripped hole on the Allen head. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna put my new sway bar link in. I'm gonna put it in the bar first. And then I'm going to start the nut in the back. You can only go on so far with the thing with your hands because of the oval shape to it. It's oval. That's the way it's made from the factory so that it locks down and doesn't fall off on you. So a 14 millimeter wrench to hold the inside of the, the stud and a 15 millimeter socket to go on the lock nut. And I'm just going to start tightening up. Okay, the torque specs on these sway bar links is the nut on the, tor on the sway bar itself is 16 foot-pounds and the nut on the control arm is 29 foot-pounds. I don't make it, I just read it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a, the wrench back on there. Oh, that's tight. So I'm going to take a pry bar and I'm going to slide it up through here so that I can lift that up and line up the sway bar. Beautiful. Put the new nut on. I'm going to tighten this down. So we're now we're going to torque the nut to 29 foot-pounds.
I'm gonna mount the tire again. And the reason why I put the tire on before I tighten the top of the strut is because I want the weight of the vehicle on the suspension to assure that I'm not pulling up on that cap, the strut cap, to, and that it can warp the studs on the outer edge. I want the vehicle weight down, holding it up, and then I can get a true torque and tightening of it. Grab your hubcap because this particular Honda does not have extra wide cutouts for three lug nuts. Set the rim up on the hub and put your lug nuts on. So the wheel torque, I got the weight of the vehicle down on the tire and I'm going to torque up the wheels and the wheel torque manufacturer spec is 80 foot pounds. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.